Hello once more everyone, welcome back to my channel, back here doing another pack opening video. Today, 2023 Sage Hit Football Low Series, which came out about a few weeks ago, as you can see by this. So this here, you get five packs per piece, three autographs in every blaster box overall, and 14 cards per pack. And something different about the packs, I'll show you those when those come out this year, that I found out last night at the, the first blaster box last night that I did the review of for you, for the preview video. <coughs> I'll show you there's a little surprise for y'all to see, but I'm looking forward to opening this today for y'all. I want to apologize for Friday's video. Got cut off for some reason with the YouTube app on the iPad for some reason. I don't know why. But with that being said, let's open up this 2023 Sage Low Series Football Blaster Box right here. Five packs, three autographs to find today video on this Monday. A cold and rainy Monday. I just found out it's going to be like this all, all, all week long. So, not cool when it's going to be raining all week. I don't like rain. <clears throat> I like rain because I like when it rains, but I, like, I don't like to watch it rain. That little surprise I'm talking about. Each pack is clear, so you can see the cards in the pack. And the last card in the pack. So... And there's like 14, and I thought, open the box last night, you get the, that I'd get the whole set. And not really. Not quite. It almost is like, it's like the whole set, but there's a few uh, cards missing, I think. And then the back with the three autographs, which we'll save for last. <clears throat> so, yeah. Start with pack number one. And trust me, some of these names are going to be hard to say. First card Israel Abin Honda. Caillou Blue Kelly, Jacoby Windham, or Windman, my bad about that, Charlie Brewer, Frank Ladson Jr., Isaac Rex, Nick Hampton, Aiden O'Connell, Purdue, out of the Big Ten. It's fun to get the Big Ten cards when you live in Big Ten country like myself here in the Chicago area. So you, in the Chicago area, you'd probably find fans of all 14 Big Ten teams. Cameron Peoples. <clears throat> We got a next level, Marvin Mims. Got a card of Xavier Valade. We got he was one of the autographs I got in the pack in the box yesterday that I showed you in the preview video yesterday. We got a Zach Evans next level card. We got a Jerry Rice, five star, 1990. And Tanner McKee, to finish us off, looks like Stanford. I'll tell you the interesting thing about this card set of Sage Hit Low Series and stuff. The last year, I noticed with most of the cards you got, because players are still getting COVID 19 years and stuff from 2020 that they miss the season and stuff because or they opted out they're giving players cards in the set from last year like for last year's set i got a card of muhammad ibrahim from minnesota who was there this year and he has a card again in the set this year so probably made the high series or anything and then you get guys who are going to be transferring as well in this set i noticed 
this season. <clears throat> so, you know, just th something I'd throw out there and talk about guys who transfer as well. We'll get this set just like last year today. I, I believe the one play I'm referencing in particular is Jaden Daniels, who transferred from Arizona State to LSU, the quarterback from LSU. First guard and second back, Makai Gardner. Nick Hampton. We got a Jay Ward. Rasheed Rice. Another Big Ten player, Luke Ford from Illinois. And I tell my said in the video my friend likes Illinois. He kind of likes Illinois, I guess. He second he corrected me on that. But I guess you can say he likes Illinois. Whatever he, I don't know, likes, kind of likes. Kind of the same thing, though, I think. Kamora Gamble. Henry Tuato. I think. Is that how you pronounce the name? Out of Alabama. I've noticed Alabama and LSU have a lot of cards in this set. Next card, Grayson McCall. Bryce Ford Wheaton. Got a Sean Tucker next level. Rocky Lombardi. NIU quarterback. He's from the state of Iowa, went to Michigan State first, transferred to the NIU. Got hurt earlier this year in a game against Vanderbilt, which I was watching on TV with my friend way back in September. Wonder if he's going to get drafted or stay with an injury, see he's injured, get a red shirt for injuries. Next level, Chris Rodriguez Jr. Got a next level of Grayson McCall. Quentin Johnson to finish off in pack number two. Three packs left. Hopefully this video is no longer than 20 minutes today. Hoping it's not 20 minutes. Those are the things I want to do. First card in pack three, Isaiah Afonzi. Don't know if I said that correctly or not. Jordan Mims. Noah Sewell. His brother plays for the Trent Lions in the NFL. Tommy DeVito out of Illinois. Tyler Van Dyke. Jalen Wayne. Tim Smith, Alabama player, it looks like. For some reason, the SEC always gets a lot of rookie cards this year. Here's Muhammad Ibrahim out of Minnesota, who he's talking about. Next level card of him. He was in the set last year for, I believe, the low series last year. Played this year at Minnesota because of injuries last season. Deontay Demas. Dontre, actually. Dontre Demas, actually. No, Dante. My bad. Got that right the first time. That looks like an R. Marvin Mims. So we got two of his. Interesting. Out of Oklahoma. Got an Xavier Valade, next level. Ronnie Bell, next level, Michigan. And then the one on the cover, on the cover, CJ Stroud, next level as well. Finish this off in that pack. Let me look though. Oh, Jordan. Who's the one? Uh, Marvin. Okay, my bad. I want to say their brothers, Jordan and Marvin Mims. I'll have to look that up. 
Same last name. I wonder if they're brothers. I'll, I'll look that up later to find out. <clears throat> Back number four. Two packs left. a lot of garbage. <laughs> First card, Noah Sewell on pack number four. John Emery Jr. Joe Foucha. Keon Zip Hurl, I believe. Keon Zip. Her out of Florida, it looks like. Hmm. Trey Tucker. Elijah Higgins. Avery Young. Mm -hmm. Big Ten guy, Rutgers. Byron Robinson. I believe that's how you pronounce the name. Got a next level Sean Tucker. And right behind that one, we got the base card of Sean Tucker out of Syracuse, it looks like. And I'm right about that. It's hard to tell because they, they don't have their team logos. We got an AJ Perry next level. Another Dante Dimas base. Got a Tanner McKee next level. And a Quentin Johnston next level to finish us off in pack four. I'll tell you my thoughts on this design after next after we open after the, the autographs we see. I'll tell you my thoughts overall after two boxes of this product for the low series. Compared a bit to last year, too. First corner pack number five, Russ, Russ Chum Johnson. Shane Lee. BJ Olahari. I believe that I'm not sure if he's related to the linebacker for New York Giants or not. I'll look that up later. Jake Bobo or Boo Boo. Don't know how to pronounce it though. My bad. Cameron McDonald. Frank Lannison Jr. Look at that. Oh. Ontario Wilson. It's hard. Some of these hard, first names are hard. Interesting names this year. I always run over a few that are hard to say. We have Jerry Rice, five star records. We have Jalen Cropper. Cameron Peoples, Zach Evans, we have a Jalen Cropper next level, we have a Jerry Rice five star MVP card, and we also finished off with a Hendon Hooker next level to finish us off in pack number five. Time for the autographs. Let's see what we get this time around. Drum roll, please. Thank you. That was me, by the way. Let's see what autographs we pick up today. Ooh, nice. Hmm. First card, we got a Trey Tucker autograph out of Cincinnati wide receiver. And on the back, a 
Armani Marsh autograph out of Washington State, it looks like. And a CJ Colden out of Wyoming for three autographs. Different color than yesterday, but pretty good cards overall. So, there we go. And I'll just say this about the overall. That this set is much better than last year's, like the glossy index on the card. Looks like they improved the product. Last year's product, the cards were a little flimsy, personally, in my mind. Much better this year, by the way, I think. And that's no lie. I do like it. <clears throat> Hope you all enjoyed. If you did, you know what to do. Please remember to watch, like, and subscribe. Don't forget to tell your friends to do the same if they've not done so yet already. Also, hit that notification button below so you know when I upload a new video. With that being said, have a nice day, stay safe, and I will see you in the next video. In the next video, whenever it is. Have a nice day, stay safe, and peace out, everyone. Bye for now.